You ready to start the purge? Gentlemen, 10 things to throw out of your bathroom, to throw out of your closet right now. I'm serious, gents. These things have no room in your closet. So if you've got these in there, do me a favor. After this video, take action, clean out that closet, clean out that bathroom, because these things honestly just are holding you back, should not be in there. Item number one to throw out of your bathroom, old sunblock. Yes, look on your sunblock. It actually has an expiration date. But I did see some research from the Mayo Clinic and they said after a period of three years beyond the expiration date, you definitely need to get rid of the sunblock. Why? Because apparently there are unstable molecules in there which absorb the UV rays. So over time, they lose their effectiveness. I would recommend, especially if you have kids, if you have other people that are using the sunblock and you actually depend on it, make sure to actually pay attention to that expiration date. Item number two to immediately throw out of your closet, stained underwear. I can't believe I actually have to say this, but I know some of you guys, maybe you've just got some pairs you love. You like white colored underwear. Maybe look at darker colored underwear. Maybe look at upgrading the quality of your underwear. That way you don't have underwear that's getting holes prematurely or the bands are falling apart. Make sure, invest in a little bit in your underwear drawer and by all means, don't keep anything that's stained. Item number three to throw out immediately, your stained and stretched undershirts. These are undershirts that you've tried to recover with using bleach and different laundry detergents to try to get rid of the stains. Those aren't coming out or you've overstretched them. And yeah, it started off as a crew neck. Now it is a deep V. Guys, there are limitations to what a dryer can do to get a shirt to go back to its original shape, but you're not ready to spend a whole lot of money on undershirts. For you, they are a disposable item. There's something that you go through. You, yeah, you get stains on and you know that, hey, Antonio, I want something simple. So guess what? The paid sponsor of this video, Stork. I want you guys to go check them out. They are dead simple and they've got an amazing product. So simple undershirts at an affordable price. Guys, I'm going to link to them down in the description of this video. Check out this price. The whole reason, because I've talked about undershirts before, but I have yet to see a company come in and do what Stork is doing. Offer a great fitted, good looking, basic undershirt in both white and gray, both V-neck and crew neck for a very affordable price. How do they do this? It's a subscription service. I have worn these undershirts. I've tested them. They all come packaged like this. This is their white. I've looked at their gray. I've worn their V-necks and I can tell you guys, solid undershirts. I think they're a steal, especially for the man who goes through a lot of undershirts. You're not going out there wanting to spend a whole lot of money on something that you view as disposable. They understand that. So they set you up in the subscription service. And if you just want a sample, if you just want to try one undershirt, just buy one. They allow you to do that. They make it dead simple. It's easy to unsubscribe. It's easy to subscribe. You've got to love a company that keeps it this simple, this focused. Item number four to throw out immediately, gentlemen, that toothbrush that you've had for a year. So understand that you need to change your toothbrush every three to four months. You should set up an automatic subscription with a company like Amazon or something so that you get a new toothbrush every three to four months. Why? Because the bristle starts to break down, starts to bend, becomes a lot less effective in cleaning between your teeth. Item number five, to throw out of your wardrobe immediately, those old running shoes. Those running shoes, they have over a thousand miles on them. Guys, that's cool and I, that's really awesome that you run a lot, but coming from a runner, coming from someone who has spoken with fitness experts, every 400 miles, give or take a hundred miles, you need to be getting a new pair of running shoes. Why? Because the shoe actually breaks down. And this may not be something that you can make it. Maybe if you're in your 20s, in your early 30s, but when you get into your 40s, you get into your 50s, you're going to start to have issues with your knees. You're going to start to have issues with your legs. Take care of your body. Get a new pair of running shoes. Now, this next item on the list, whether to throw it out or whether to keep it, oftentimes depends on how you've stored it. I'm talking about fragrances. I'm talking about perfumes, colognes, Toilet. So if you store it properly, which is you keep it in a dark, cool place where there's no temperature variation and there's no sunlight, it could last perhaps a few years. But if you put it up on a windowsill in a bathroom where the temperature goes up and down, where it's exposed to direct sunlight, you basically may have something worthless within the period of a couple months, if not sooner. So that is key. Understand that fragrances have an expiration date and that that expiration date is going to come a lot sooner if you're storing it improperly. So 
make sure to store your fragrances properly, treat them with care, and enjoy them before they expire. Item number seven to throw out of your wardrobe immediately, those holy socks. And I'm not talking about those socks blessed by the Pope. I'm talking about those socks that actually have holes in them and face the reality. You are most likely not going to mend your socks. If you mend your own socks, that's pretty awesome. Very few guys actually do that. Face the reality. You probably need to go out there and just buy a new pack, maybe get it on subscription service. This may be a great time to upgrade to those colorful socks that you've been wanting to buy. Item number eight to throw out immediately, that faded swimsuit. So swimsuits, for many of us that spend time in the pool, they're a workhorse tool that some people don't treat very well. So the thing with a swimsuit, you need to rinse it off because you're in a pool with chlorine and other harsh chemicals and they protect you, but they also tear up and they can discolor swimsuits. The key is to rinse off your swimsuit, then put it in that centrifugal force machine pull the water out, possibly rinse again, or every couple times actually go home and wash it. But be careful, if you go with a darker colored suit, it can fade very quickly, especially if they used an inferior dye. I find a lot of cheaper suits, they use really bad dyes. One of the things to avoid this is actually go with a lighter colored suit. Item number nine to throw out of your wardrobe, those unhemmed jeans, which are getting torn apart at the keel because you've been stepping on them for the last few months. And they, you know what I'm talking about. You see those guys walking around, they've got jeans that are too long on them. They're oftentimes baggy and they are frayed at the back and they're just dragging strings throw those jeans out. There's not much you can do. They just don't fit you properly. So I think that you should go with something that's even got a leaner, slimmer cut, something that actually isn't going to go down there and start to get torn apart. And always look to hem your jeans, a very simple fix to look better in jeans. Item number 10, to throw out of your wardrobe, gentlemen, those graphic tees which you would wear just to shock people. Those shirts that you had in your youth to have a little bit of fun, to maybe get people riled up. I know, I had some of those shirts as well. I had one that said, join the Marine Corps, travel the world, meet interesting people, and kill them. Now, I, I don't want to wear that shirt. That doesn't send the message I want to send, and I married a foreigner. Now, many of you guys maybe have college shirts, but you've been out of college for 20 years. That's cool that you support your university. Maybe that you were part of a fraternity or something, but do you need to keep the shirt? Maybe you could pass it on. Now, I understand some of you guys maybe go back and you want to party and stuff like that. Yes, in that case, I would say keep the shirt, but for most items there, look to get rid of them. Just clean out your closet because here's the deal is everything I've talked about here is building a wardrobe, having it set up, having systems in place so that there's no clutter. You're able to find what you want to be able to project the message you want to project. Gentlemen, now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. What would you have added to this video? What did I miss? What should men immediately throw out of their closet and go check out store? A great subscription service, quality undershirt at a very affordable price. And what I love is that, I mean, it's dead simple. They have just a few options out there with the V-neck, with the crew neck, with the white, with the gray, you'll be able to find the size that fits you. And the best part is you set this on cruise control. You create a system so that you can dress well and you no longer have the issue with stained or ratty or you know stretched out undershirts. Every time you put an undershirt on, it's gonna look good. Guys, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Now be sure to sign up for email notifications. That way you can watch my videos when they first come out. Now, sometimes I offer exclusive deals that are time sensitive. So make sure that you never miss out on one by being part of the early notification squad.